Welcome to The Coaching Table. I'm Thomas Thompson, Leadership Coach with Lead Self, Lead Others. And The Coaching Table is a weekly conversation I've created to help leaders like you have those conversations that you're not having so you can truly lead yourself well, so that you can finish well with your life. And today's conversation centers around the word help. God helps those who help themselves, right? You've heard that before, right? But does he? In a letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to the Galatians, he, he wrote to a group of people who were dealing with this same kind of belief and operating under it. They were practicing their newfound faith in God by trying to keep all the rules and check all the boxes and, 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 and work as hard as they could because they expected that God would help those who help themselves. And then Paul asks a fantastic coaching question. He says this in chapter 3, verse 2, How did your new life begin? Was it by working your heads off to please God? Or was it by responding to God's message to you? That's a question I throw out to you today. If you've come to new faith in Christ, how did that life begin? Did you work your head off until finally God noticed you and, and, and gave you salvation? Maybe he patted you on the head and said, that'll do, pig. Or did you come to a place where you realize that by faith, I've got to respond to the good news that God has shared with me about Christ? And then Paul asked this, well, if that's true, are you going to continue this craziness? For only crazy people would think that they could complete by their own efforts what was begun by God. In other words, the way that you came to Christ is the way that you are to live in Christ, and both of them are by faith. So maybe God does not help those who help themselves. Maybe God helps those who come to Him for help. Now here's how I try to live that out. Uh, my job as a coach is to sit across the table from clients and to listen to where they are, to help them determine where they are wanting to go, where God is taking them to go, and then I work with them to help get them there. Now of course this is going to require training, experience, skill, and focus. But it also requires my faith in a God who loves the person across the table from me enough that he's going to show up in that conversation, that he's going to do what only he can do. And so I have a little ritual that I practice before I meet with every single client without exception. I take a moment and I pray. Because while it's important that I've led myself, that I've helped myself by being trained and by learning from my experiences, from developing skills, from stewarding my focus, I am walking in unprepared if I don't invite God's help. Only He can turn a good conversation into a God conversation. So I invite the Holy Spirit. I say, Holy Spirit, please be present in this conversation. Please guide my thinkings. Lead me to the right questions. Help me really hear what's being said. I pray for the other person. Holy Spirit, you're working in this person's life. Help them see you at work. Help them see where you're leading them. God, I, I'm calling upon you for your help. Because leading yourself well means leading yourself to ask for God's help. So here's your coaching table question for this week. Where are you going to God for help? Is it only when your back is against the wall or you're in over your head or maybe after you've already exhausted every attempt of help that you can give to yourself? Or could you begin this week acknowledging, I have done hard work to be ready for this moment, to be ready for this conversation, to be ready for this project, but I still recognize for me to lead at my best, I have to ask for God's help. Where are you going to God for help? I'd love for you to take that question with you throughout this week. Bring it to your dinner table. Bring it to a, a conversation with someone. Bring it into your own personal development time or maybe with your own personal leadership coach. I would love to interact with you and hear how you are doing this. And you can scroll down and just click on my email, or you can scroll up and shoot me a little video back and forth, and we can start a little conversation there. By the way, I did mention the word focus in this conversation. 
I actually do a thing that uh, each month where I help people discover the focus that God's calling them to on who and what matters most in their life. And it's called 30 Days to Focus. I'm launching a brand new one this February. Space is limited, so if you want to get in on that, email me and I'll, I'll talk to you about what the details are. But until then, I'll see you again next Monday with another conversation about leading yourself well. And until then, you're always welcome at the coaching table.